Hi! For writing today, we are going to start the editing phase of our Writer's Workshop unit. So we've been working on persuasive writing. We've been doing this for about four weeks now. So we have a collection of work that we can go back and edit, and I'm going to show you the checklist that we can use, just like we do in every unit, that will let you know what expectations I have for you as writers for when you turn in your writing at the very end of this unit. This checklist probably looks pretty familiar at this point. We have a new checklist for every writing unit, but some of the things are always going to stay the same. Like, you're always going to be expected to end your sentences with punctuation and start them with capital letters. But let me point out some things that are new or different for this unit. So first of all, um, it says writing checklist at the top and then it says persuasive writing and then it says read and touch each word. So the expectation is that you go back through all the work that you've done and you read and you touch each word. That's how you figure out whether you missed a word or missed a section of words even. You're reading to make sure that everything makes sense. Then it says, in order for your writing to be complete, make sure you can check all of these off. No, you don't have to do them all today. This is something that you can work on over a few days. But here are our expectations. It says, I have at least three different pages of writing. Now, three is a pretty small number, but this was a pretty short writing unit, so I'm only expecting you to turn in three pieces when we get back to school. Then it says, I have at least three convincing reasons on each page. So that's probably the most important thing that I'm looking for is, are your reasons really well thought out? Or did you just say, I want to do this thing because it's fun? I want you to try to really convince someone by at including details and putting yourself in their shoes when you're trying to think of what would convince someone else. Then it says, all my sentences start with a capital letter. All my sentences end with punctuation. My words are all easy to read. I used my best handwriting. I use spaces between my words. My pictures are clear and they have color. I spelled most sight words correctly. I stretched out the sounds of words or I used the chunky monkey strategy. These things towards the bottom of the checklist are things that are the same for every unit because you're always expected to do those things on every sentence that you write. Then at the bottom here, I wrote styles of writing that could be turned in because we've done a few different types of things in this unit. You could have written a letter to someone. You could have written a sign, a book, or a check it out page. So I've included that checklist on the announcement page of Seesaw so that you always have access to it. And you can take the next few days and go through the work that you've done so that you can edit your pieces and have them ready to turn in. So I just wanna show you on this calendar here that we're in remote learning right now Thursday, January 7th. We have Friday, January 8th. And those are the two editing days for this writing unit. Then on Monday, we're actually going to start a new writing unit, but since we're not in school, in the classroom, you won't be able to turn in the pages from your persuasive writing unit. So you're just going to have to hold on to those. You can turn them in when we get back to school on the 19th. That's this box I have highlighted here. And we'll actually have a writing celebration on that day too, because that would mean it's the end of our unit. So two editing days right here, today and tomorrow. Then next week we'll start something new, and of course you're still welcome to work on your persuasive writing pieces at that time next week if you need to, but we'll actually turn them in on November or January 19th here when we get back in the classroom. All right, look for that writing checklist in your announcements page, and I'll see you tomorrow.